Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create logos using AI technology in Design Beast, which is a 6 in 1 graphic design and animation suite. If you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to watch my review video to learn more. So I'm logged into my Design Beast account. I'm in the dashboard area. Let me scroll down. And this is the Logo Factory app. I'll click on this arrow button to open the app. In step 1, you need to enter your company details, like so, and then click Create Logo. In step two, you need to choose the type of logo. You have three options here. I want a logo with an image, so I'll choose the graphical option, and click Proceed. In step three, you need to choose a niche. Use this drop-down menu, choose your niche, like so, and finally click Create Logo. Design Beast will automatically generate many logo designs, as you can see here. You can click the Load More button to see more logo designs. I like this one, so I'll hover my mouse over it and click the Edit button. This will open the Logo Editor. I'll click on the Graphic Element to change its color. And in this color palette, you can see there are several colors. I'll change the green color to red using the hex code. Next I'll click on the first text box and change the color to gray using the hex code. And finally I'll click on the second text box and change the color to red. So that looks pretty good to me. Up here in the toolbar you can change the transparency of an element. You can adjust the layers. You can lock specific elements so they don't move. And you can delete specific elements. By the way, you can also use the delete key on your keyboard. In this left side toolbar, this first tab displays all the templates that were generated. You can add text. You can add images from Pixabay and Pexels. You can add different types of objects. You can change the background with an image, pattern, or color. And finally, you can upload your own images in this section. You can also save your projects to edit them later. You can use this download button to download a logo in different file formats like JPEG, PNG, and SVG. So I'll download my logo, and here's how it came out. If you go back to the Logo Factory app, you can click this down arrow button in the top right corner to go back to the main dashboard, like so. And if you go to the My Projects section, under Logo Factory, you can see that it saved my project. And if I hover my mouse over it, I can edit it if I want to, but that's pretty much it. Design Beast is available at a special low one-time price during launch. Check the link in the description section. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.